funding for your business. Listen in because I'm about to help you out. I'm going to teach you in this video how to apply for free money for your small business using AI. Yes, artificial intelligence. So let's dive in. First, what you want to do is find a grant that is applicable to your business. Some of them could be women-owned businesses. Some of them could be businesses in minority uh, areas or a low income area, you just want to look for a specific grant that fits your needs. Once you find the grant, you want to read the rules and make sure that you meet all the requirements for applying. Here's a grant that you can apply for right now. This grant is offered by AT&T and they are looking for women business owners. It's called She Connects by AT&T. They are looking for women to share their small business story and they can have an opportunity to win $20,000. So if you're ready, let's apply for this grant right now. So we are going to be applying for this grant. And what you want to do is before we go, I'm going to show you guys how to use AI to do this. So you want to go to chat GPT and press enter. You can do this on any search engine that you're using. And then you're going to click on the one that says openai.com. And if you already have an account, all you're going to do is log in. If you don't have an account, you're gonna sign up here. So now the first question on this application is, it says, don't be shy. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your small business. Please include the overall vision biz uh, and mission of your business and the impact it makes on your community. How would 20K impact your business? How would you use this grant? Tell us in 70, 750 words max. Okay, so here is the beauty of chat GPT. Are you guys ready to see this magic happen? All right, so what you wanna do when you are uh, soliciting the help of our virtual assistant chat GPT, you want to make sure you feed the AI some information about your business before you ask it to answer a question. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of prompting engineering here. So once you're in ChatGPT, because I have already been working on this, all I'm going to do is click on ChatGPT right here, and then we are going to get ready to start. So I'm just going to paste my prompt in this box and... Prompts are usually a question that you ask AI, but we're going to feed it information about our company. So I want you to do this with your company. Tell it how long you've been in business, where you're located, you know, anything that you feel is pertinent about your business, no sensitive information like social security numbers or EINs or anything like that, but give it some information so it has something to work with. So I've already come up with a hypothetical business called Tasty Treats Bakery. And I always like to say hi, please, and thank you to ChatGPT because you just never know who's working behind the, the, the curtain, okay, making all this magic happen. So I said, hi, act as if you are a female small business owner. You are the owner of Tasty Treats Bakery in Atlanta, Georgia. You offer delectable vegan desserts. You have been in business for two years and your bakery is located in a low-income neighborhood. You started your business because you found it hard to find healthy vegan options and desserts in your community. You are applying for $20,000. It's a grant and you have to write an essay of 750 words or less. The first question on the essay is tell us a little bit about yourself and your small business. Please include the overall vision and mission of your business and the impact it makes on your community. How would 20K impact your business and how would you use this grant? Are you guys ready to see this magic? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you seeing this? Look at this. It is writing the answer for the grant application for you, literally in 2.5 seconds. This is incredible. All right, so I'm gonna, <laughs> well, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. It says, I am thrilled to introduce myself as the proud owner of Tasty Treats Bakery, nestled within, nestled, I love that. The heart of Atlanta, Georgia. As a passionate advocate for wholesome living and a lover of all things dessert, I embarked on this journey two years ago to provide my community with delectable vegan treats that nourishes the body and soul. Our bakery is more than just a business, it's a testament to my commitment to promoting health, 
taste and inclusivity. At Tasty Trees Bakery, our over arching vision is to redefine indulgence by crafting vegan desserts that celebrate flavor without compromising on ingredients. I firmly believe that everyone deserves access to scrumptious options that align with their dietary preferences, which is why our mission is to make plant-based delicacies accessible to all, especially in underserved low-income neighborhoods we call home. We stand for fostering a healthy relationship with food while fostering a sense of community and togetherness through the joy of sharing treats. Y'all, like, do you see this amazingness? <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, so first off, we have some really awesome things we can work with here. You never, ever, ever want to take what ChatGPT gives you and just copy and paste it. You always want to edit. You always want to make sure that it's applicable. It really, really is true to what your business does. So it's, if it has things in here that your business does not do, please don't just copy and paste it. Make sure you edit it. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure that it stay within the word count that you ask. So what I like to do with ChatGPT sometimes is, say, is I will say, thank you. How many words were in the last response? And let's see what it tells us. 545 words. Perfect. So we're right within our uh, word count. And so what we can do just for the purpose of um, filling this application out for you guys, I am going to copy and paste this, but you are going to make sure you edit it before you copy and paste. So we're going to take this and we're going to head back over to our application and then we're going to right click and we're going to going to paste it. All right. Like, uh, Amazing. It says, thank you for considering my application. I look forward to the opportunity to contribute even more profoundly to the arrangement of our community through Tasty Trees Bakery. Guys, I cannot read all of this to you because I don't want this video to be extremely long, but this is incredible. All right. So the next, the next um, part of the application is our brand values are true or live true, think big, pursue excellence, be there, stand for equality, and make a difference. Please pick one to two of these values and describe how you and your business align with these values. Now, here's another prompting engineering secret I'm going to share with you. What you want to do is make sure that if you are needing to answer a specific question based on some information, so for instance, it's, it's telling you its values. Well, chat GPT does not know its values. So you have to feed that to the AI. So let me show you how to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little link that says our brand values. It's going to open a new tab. Now it's going to tell us what the brand values are in detail. What we want to do is copy all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, and all of this, and all of this, and, of this, and put it into chat GPT. And what you want to say is, I want you to read this. And once you have read it, tell me, respond by saying, I understand. Okay. So we're going to feed it. Now I've already done this. So that, again, we're not taking up too much time. I'm going to go back to chat GPT and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. All right. So here's what that prompt looks like. Please read the following as it is will be pertinent information you'll need to answer the next question. Answer with I understand once you have read it. So I literally just copied, lived through all the values from AT&T and I put it and you see that chat GPT responds, I understand, I understand. And I did it one by one. So now the next question on the grant application is, let's see. Pick one to two of these values and describe how you and your business align with these values. So all I'm going to do is copy this. And then I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to say at the beginning, that thank you. So here's the actual um, question that I asked before. It says, um, 
Now, the next question on the grant application is our brand values are live true, think big, pursue excellence, be there, stand for equality, make a difference. Please pick one or two of these. So let's see if I just copy this, if it'll do it um, for me. I was trying to redo it while you guys could watch here. All right. So here we go. It says at Tasty Treats Bakery, the value of pursue excellence and make a difference resonates deeply with both me and my business. We're committed to delivering the highest quality vegan desserts that not only tantalize taste buds, but also promotes a healthier lifestyle. Our dedication to excellence is reflected in every ingredient we select. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> every recipe we create and the meticulous care we put into crafting each treat. Moreover, make a difference is the core of our bakery's purpose. We started this journey to address the absence of accessibility, delectable vegan options in our community. By providing these treats, we're making a difference in people's lives, offering an alternative that's not only kind to their bodies, but also the environment. Beyond our baked goods, we actively engage with our community through workshops and events, spreading awareness about the benefits of plant-based eating and empowering individuals to make mindful choices. Every day, we strive to live out these values by consistently raising the bar of excellence in our offerings and ensuring that every step we take contributes positively to the well-being of our community. Our empathy-driven approach, you guys see how it threw in that empathy part, ensures that our customers not only enjoy mouth-watering treats, but also feel inspired to be a part of a movement. Yes, movement that makes a meaningful impact. Oh my God. This is incredible, you guys. This is amazing. So now you see, you just have to make sure you feed it the information that it, it needs and ask the correct questions. So what we're gonna do is copy this. And we're going to head back over to our grant application. And we're going to paste it here. And that's it. Hit submit and you're good to go. Was that not amazing? Like chat GPT and the amazing and awesomeness of AI can totally change your life and help you get the funding and grants that you need. If you like this info and you want to learn more, I'm actually going to be teaching an AI grant writing masterclass. If you want to be a part of that class, I'm literally going to be showing you some grants that you can apply for and then walking you step by step through the process for your specific business and showing you how to write all of your prompts and how to answer those questions so that you can start winning grants. If you want to be a part of that class, type Grant class in the comments below, and I'll send you over the link. I hope this helps. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.